Hey everybody, I'm Lisa. It's super great to see all of you today. Welcome to C3 Kids Church Online. I'm coming to you from Community Christian Church in White Marsh, Maryland, where we're all about helping people find their way back to God. C3 Kids Online is the place for kindergartners through third graders to learn all about Jesus and just how much He loves us. This month, we're finding out what it means to jam out with a little cooperation. Cooperation is working together to do more than you could do alone. If you're going to take on any big challenge, you don't have to do it by yourself. You can work together with other people and do way more than you could on your own. In fact, that's how God planned it. God made us to cooperate. One place we see people cooperating is when we listen to music. Did you know that when you listen to a song on Spotify or Amazon Music or YouTube, it probably took a long time to make that song what it was? People have to come together to sing, to play instruments, to record the music, and then make it into something we can all stream from our devices. It takes a lot of cooperation to make a song. Today I thought we'd have a little fun seeing if we could guess the title of some of my favorite songs. I'm going to give you a few lines from a song I love, and then you have to guess what it is, okay? Okay, let's play. Song number one. It was my wedding day. We were getting ready and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. This is a song I'm playing on repeat these days. It's from the movie Encanto. Did you get it? We don't talk about Bruno, right? Good job, everyone. All right, song number two. This one might be something you sing when you're going to bed. Ready? Here's a line from it. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Did you guess Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Way to go. All right, one more. Song number three. I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric wavy when I turn it on. Well, this one is from the movie Trolls, and it's another one of my favorites. Did you guess? Can't stop this feeling? If you did, way to go. How many of you got them all right? All three? Good job. Well, we're going to keep on going with music because now it's time to sing a worship song together. We sing worship songs to help us think about how awesome God is and also as a way for us to tell Him how much we love Him. Today's song is called Know You More. So let's stand up and sing this song together.
What a great song. And we've got more fun ahead as we look at another great story of cooperation from the Bible. We'll pick up the action with God's people, the Israelites, as they were traveling through the desert. They find themselves in a pretty sticky situation, but cooperation comes to the rescue. You know what? Just watch and see. Let's check it out. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Exodus, chapter 17, verses 8 through 13. God had freed the Israelites from slavery in Egypt and led them into the desert. But with no home of their own, the Israelites were still wide open to enemy attack as they traveled. One evening, as Moses walked through the camp, his assistant Joshua raced up. Amalekites! Where? How many? Just a few men right now. They attacked at the rear, where many of the women and children are. But we beat them back. Uh, they'll come in full force tomorrow. Moses turned to survey the land around them in the last rays of the setting sun. The whole valley of Rephidim spread out before them. Nearby, a high hill provided a lookout for the whole countryside. We have no army. We'll have to fight. You choose our best men and get ready for battle in the morning. Will you come with us? No. Moses pointed at the hilltop. I'll climb up there and hold up the walking stick that God gave me. Both men looked at a sturdy staff in Moses' hand. It was no ordinary stick. Moses had lifted the staff when God had parted the water of the Red Sea so the Israelites could escape. Yes, sir. I'll call the men. In the great chill before dawn, Joshua and his group of inexperienced fighters prepared for battle against the Amalekites. I, I've never held a sword. God has saved us many times. He can do it again. As the ragtag army gathered at one end of the valley, Moses climbed the hill with his brother Aaron and his friend Hur. So, Moses, uh, what's the plan? Yeah, those Amalekites got some mean fighters. We'll call on God. As the three men crested the hill, they turned to look back. The rising sun flooded the valley. They could see Joshua and the Israelites just below. At the far end of the valley, a vast swarm of Amalekites rushed forward. Oh. More Amalekites than bees in a hive. Within minutes, the two groups clashed. It was clear from the very beginning that the Amalekites had the upper hand. They'll wipe us out in no time. Wait. At the very crest of the hill, Moses grabbed his staff and raised both hands high in the air. Our God is stronger than any enemy. In a short time, the tide seemed to turn. Well, what do you know? Joshua's pushing them back. The Israelites steadily beat back the Amalekite army. But as the sun rose and the heat increased, Moses' arms grew tired. Little by little, his arms sank down. Uh-oh. The Amalekites have busted through our line right there. We were doing so well. God, help us. With an effort, Moses lifted his hands high again. Joshua had formed a strong band of fighters, and once again, the Israelites surged forward. Moses lowered his arms to stretch. Ah, my back! Well, what just happened? Joshua had them. Moses stepped forward to see, raising his hands high again. Aaron turned to stare at his brother. It's your hands! When your hands are raised up toward God, we're winning! Yeah, and when you drop them, those fool Amalekites start to win! Yes, but I can't do this all day! Moses' arms began to shake. Hold it one more minute. I got a rock-solid plan. Aaron? Together, Aaron and her rolled a huge stone to the place where Moses stood. Now, you set yourself right down, Mo. Carefully, Moses lowered himself onto the rock, fighting to keep his hands high in the air. My arms! We got it, brother! Aaron and her each stood on one side of Moses and held up a hand. Whew! For the rest of the day, Aaron and her stood right beside Moses, keeping his hands steady. By sunset, Joshua and the Israelites completely defeated the Amalekites. <laughs> Look at him run! The Amalekites had been defeated by God's power. 
but it was only by working together with his friends that Moses had been able to keep his hands lifted high all day. It was clear that Moses was tired from holding up his walking stick, so Aaron and Hur stepped up to help. The three of them worked together to help Joshua and the Israelites win the battle. And God worked through all of them to do something miraculous. Each person helped someone else succeed. That's a great way for us to cooperate, and it's our bottom line today. Work together to help someone succeed. Imagine if you were Moses, trying to do a big job by yourself. You'd want someone to help you, right? Of course! It feels so good when someone notices what you need then steps in to help you out. So we need to work together to do that for other people. Maybe you could draw a picture to brighten, some, brighten someone's day, like if they've been sick or going through a tough time, or just started a new school or a new job. You could even cooperate by making a card for them with your brother or sister. If one of your friends at school is having trouble learning spelling words, maybe a few of you could take some time to practice them together. Or maybe you could tell your mom or dad or grown up that you live with Thank you when you sit down to eat the dinner that they cooked for everyone. That might just be a kind of encouragement they need because every day they work so hard to get everything done for your family. There are lots of ways that we can work together to help someone succeed. And to help you discover more about that, we have some resources linked in the description of this video. So check them out. Be sure to come back next week for another episode of C3 Kids Online. See you then. Bye.